Sad Mouse woke up, feeling confused and uncomfortable in his unknown surroundings. Looking round, he noticed two chambers. One with a deformed mouse head, and one with a creased mouse. He could hear, but not see someone else in Decamba beside him. It was Mortimer, crawling around the chamber, banging on glass, making weird noises and acting like a feral animal. Minnie then suddenly walked up to Sad Mouse and he froze, unsure of what to do. Suddenly, an unknown scientist grabbed her by the arm and took her away. Horrified, Mortimer started to bang on the glass that separated them and let out a loud The glass shattered from the force and both Sad Mouse and Mortimer were let out. Acting on an instinct not known to him, Sad Mouse followed Mortimer as he jumped out the window, escaping the chambers. Passing through nearby streets, the duo ventured off to a nearby market. Sad Mouse quickly gathered a few pills and followed Mortimer into the forest. He had been walking past this forest before, occasionally talking to the trees, with no plan in mind. He decided to take one of the pills and set up a tent to rest in. Meanwhile, Mortimer had grown normal now, and was heading into town to get supplies, and to see the townsfolk after being trapped in a chamber for years. Sad Mouse soon went to sleep inside a tent, but that's when things went wrong. Suddenly, he found himself floating, his body going through the floor like a ghost, and he landed in a red void. A desk appeared out of nowhere. the devil himself materialized in front of him. The devil explained that Sad Mouse had done something wrong in order for him to be in this situation. And some demon guards then came and picked him up. He was going to be sacrificed to the devil. To Sad Mouse's horror, they guided him towards a large burning hole in the floor. But before he was thrown in, he awoke back in his tent. It was all a hallucination. At that moment, he felt like he couldn't take it anymore. Running around the forest in a frantic attempt to escape the void he had just seen, Sad Mouse became overwhelmed and exhausted. Mortimer suddenly heard a crack and went to investigate. To his shock, he saw a pile of rocks, and underneath it, Sad Mouse's disembodied head, covered in blood, brought down by his own insanity. Sad Mouse had finally taken his own life. Mortimer sadly buried him in the forest close to his tents, filled with grief and disbelief. <laughs>